Well, today we're going to see if we can uh, successfully rehydrate some frozen yeast from the other kits. As you can see, it's definitely winter yet out there. This one's been in the fridge for a few days, thawing. So we're going to get that going with some malt extract in our beaker and our homemade stir plate. So there's the dry extract and water. So we'll get this boiling and simmer it for about 15 minutes. A little bit of star sand to uh, make sure everything's clean. Just swirl that around, let it sit for a bit. Ten more minutes to go on the simmer, then we can chill it down. As long as Mother Nature's providing it, I may as well use it to chill down my uh, little experiment today. Well, this should work out pretty good. Well, it looks like we're sitting about uh, 180 here. And the time is up. And in we go. We've got our funnel all sanitized. We just need to wait for this to cool down a little bit. It's pretty good that it only took about eight minutes. Time to transfer here. We'll give our yeast a little shake and throw that in. It does smell good too. Everything's about sanitation, so we're going to sanitize our little stir bar here. Well, I'll add that to our uh, experiment here. We'll get our little cover put on here. Put it on our homemade stir plate. Turn it on and see what happens here. Oh yeah. That'll work out really good. Let this sit for a couple of days and uh, see if our yeast will take. So, hope you enjoyed our project. I picked up four more kits. The uh, Irish Red was so good before. Here's a new one, Honey Bee Ale, something a little bit lighter. Hank's Hefeweizen, a wheat beer. So I'm curious to see how that turns out. And lastly, a Liberty Cream Ale. Yum!